Good morning! We both have so much energy, it's not 9 in the morning and we're not waking up. I'm Phil. <laughs> I'm Corey. Uh, today, we're going to the Land of Dragons. But again, we've already defeated uh, Sean Yu. What could there possibly be to do? Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. I wonder how everybody's doing. Look! Wait! Sora! Mulan, hey, no time to talk. We gotta catch that guy. I'm following him too. Then let's go! Yay, Mulan's back. Kinda. <laughs> She's good. Hello, soldiers. Goodbye, soldiers. Any of you want to come with me? Look at all the people! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> so Dora the Explorer's up. He's literally wearing a black cloak in snow. <laughs> oh, we got nobodies here. Yeah, I have to like I'm I'm I can't say I'm noticing a pattern because I haven't done very many part two to world, but I can imagine it's less. Um, this is the story of the movie and more organization 13s here doing things. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. You, you, I don't want to say you called it, but uh, yeah, you called it. Nice. Except for the Aladdin world, which is just not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like Agrabah too. Looks like he got away. How come you're after somebody from Organization Thirteen? What is that? The guy in black. One of the bad guys. I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black, lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you arrived, I lost him. Oh. Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Oh no. Blow up the mountain. Okay, first things first. Hey, you! Quit sneaking around. Wait. That, that sword! No it's way. It's Nightmare from Soul Calibur. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's that's what was in my mind. Oh, okay. Okay. And don't forget to reflect if you want. Oh, Jesus. Or cure. It was... It. It was a combination of, well, I'm hitting X to attack, and, oh, yeah, let me check my spells so I remember which button is reflect. You know, that's never been the thing for me, but I have seen people who are like, that's why I don't put cure on X. Because, like, you could put cure on square or triangle even if you wanted to. Um, because, like... But I guess, like, all of my X presses are deliberate. I'm not a silly masher like you. <laughs> nah, you just mash. Now you're just mashing it. Uh, if you pop limit form, uh, you'll heal yourself and get all your magic back. Oh, that's right, that's right. Boom. Oh. And you can use things like Strike Raid or a Sonic Blade. Get him. Or you can hit him. You can do either. 
You have power to do both. I don't know what speed trap is, but it looked like it just made it so that I didn't get hit. Uh, so it like that like gathers the tiny little things around you, so you can do the arrow blade, which is like the big twisty attack. Uh... Arrow blade, more like Zephyr strike. Pronounced Zephyr. Did you know that? Did you know that the word uh, Z E P H Y R? That's pronounced Zephyr. It's actually a really important part of my lexicon, and I think about it and say that word frequently. Huh? Pronounced it Zephyr Strike in a video, and I got like eight people who were like, "How oh dare you!" No. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, why? Are you, why this is what you're mad about. Riku. <laughs> Some people. People just like getting mad. I don't think they have a lot else going on. I know that's kind of like... Did you get him? Hmm. No. He's gone. What? You lost him? Anyway. What now? Well, I think that we better get rid of all the Heartless first. What was that? Come on, we better get off the mountain. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, like, I know that being like, oh, they must not have a lot going on, that's why they're always so mad on the internet kind of thing, but like, I don't know, the busier I am, the less I'm on Twitter, so. Yeah, I, like, just thinking how, because, like, I've been pretty busy, I can't imagine just spending time to get mad at someone who made a YouTube video, like, I barely have time to watch the video. Yeah, and anytime I've seen a YouTube video and I've been like, ah. Uh, you know what? I don't like this. I just like, go watch something else. There's so many videos on YouTube. Yo, Riku! Maybe. Who knows? Oh, it's Riku. That sword. Who else could it be? My ball fell into this world. I just want it back. I played soccer with my friends. I kicked it too hard. Have you seen my ball? It's black and white. It's a soccer ball. We are playing soccer. <laughs> Tandy Ooh. P boost. Ooh. Defense boost. Okay. Uh, so recipes. Okay, no. Free development. Okay, no. Okay. Oh, here. Let me put dodge roll on for you. Because do you want dodge roll? I'm you, assuming you do. Sure. Okay, so now, uh, that's guard, but if you're moving, you can do this. So it's guard when I'm still, but it's roll when I'm moving? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. See, I always just turn off guard because I'm like, I'll just get out of the way. Uh, this way, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, bring it on, forces of darkness. And you won't bring it on forces of light. I'll take both of you. I could take both of them. In a fight? In a fight, right? A little, little meme. A little meme joke for you. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, yeah. Been on Twitter a little less lately. It feels kind of good. Because <laughs> Twitter is just like... It's a very angry place to be. You just see stuff that makes you angry. And then you're like... And now I'm angry. You should feel... Uh, yeah, no, I was the same way with Facebook. And then I just kind of deleted a bunch of people, and I don't, I don't get as angry. See, I just deleted Facebook. <laughs> I, I wanted to, but there's some people who, like, through Messenger, that's the only way they can contact me now. 
I'm like, well... They're on phones? They can't just text you? I don't think they got my number. They're well, like... Then... They're like <laughs> high school friends. Who I contact, I don't know, maybe like twice a year. Okay. See, I guess I'm just kind of a callous person, and I'm like, eh, if I haven't talked to you in like three years... Uh, you're just dead to me. <laughs> Not, like, in a mean way. Like, if I saw someone that I was friends with in high school, and, like, you know, they didn't turn into, like, a weird conspiracy theorist who wants to sell me pills to protect my brain from disease or whatever, uh, I'd be like, hey, how's it going? Oh, that's neat. Cool. Good to see ya. But, like, I don't know. Anytime I, like, go back to my hometown, I'm never, like, I need to find people who... Because here's the thing about Sioux Falls. Everyone just leaves. <laughs> if, if you're cool in Sioux Falls, your goal is to get out of Sioux Falls in <laughs> high school. Because I don't, I don't think there's a single person that I was friends with in high school who is still in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Which I... By the way, it's my hometown. I can say whatever I want about it, okay? So if you're from Sioux Falls and you like it, good for you. Uh, Minerva's tastes like Applebee's, uh, so that's my take on it. Um, it's not me. You know what? They charge like thirty. Okay, Minerva's is like considered like the bet the fanciest restaurant in Sioux Falls, and seriously, it, it's like an Applebee's quality steak, uh, and they charge thirty dollars for it. Oh jeez. Like, don't get me wrong. I am never gonna advocate going to an Applebee's. But at least Applebee's, it's only $15. <laughs> it's like half the price. And yeah, you're getting your reflect on. Oh! oh! Look at that. Look at that. Ah. So, yeah. I don't know. Like, I food is... It's not the only thing that matters. But, like, yo, Minneapolis. We be eating here. Oh, it's... We be e I know. I know I say that as I'm hanging out with you, and I'm like, let's go to Kane's every day. <laughs> But Cane's is really good, okay? <laughs> it is. And Sioux Falls doesn't have Cane's. They have a Popeye's now, um, so that's good. But, like, it's probably not a good thing when Popeye's is, like, the best restaurant in town. <laughs> like, they have Popeye's and Five Guys, so they've, they've gotten some good, some better fast, better tier fast food joints. Uh, and this is not me disrespecting McDonald's at all. Like, I, I really like McDonald's. I know it isn't good. And I understand that, and I understand eating that. My bigger issue is with your, like, Applebee's-style things, where it's like, I'm gonna pay sit-down restaurant prices for stuff that they just heat up in a microwave that you can also buy at the grocery store in the frozen food. Like, like Applebee's, or I think it's TGI Fridays, that has, like, you can just get a TGI Friday steak, and you can put it in the microwave and have the TGI Fridays flavor. And like TGI Fridays is like one of the higher quality of those like not fat like chain restaurants I guess is what I would, like chain bar and grills. Mm -hmm. I think like TGI Fridays and Chili's are okay. Like if I'm at an airport, <laughs> and they have a TGI Fridays or a Chili's. Oh, even the mini the Minneapolis airport has Red Cow, which is a burger place, and it's so good. I've never heard of it. Huh? Everything's fine. Look at all the people. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. What? Is that a problem? Nah. We're just glad you're not in black cloaks. You saw him? Yeah, he's in the palace. Gabagul. Okay. You got this. You got this. You know how to cast Reflect. I do. Um, but no, Red Cow, if you're ever flying out of Terminal 1 Minneapolis, get Red Cow. It's delicious. It's better than any restaurant in Sioux Falls and it's in the flippin' airport. And honestly, what's the deal with airport food? <laughs> no, but so like, uh, but uh, Chili's, TJ Fridays are, are are decent. Applebee's is garbage. <laughs> like Applebee's is terrible. 
I like Applebee's. Why? I know. Oh, yeah. A bunch of our friends in college were really into Applebee's. They would, like, go there regularly. And I'd be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> is that where the, this Applebee's is fucking haunted came from? One of those. Yes, that was. Uh, we, were, we were talking about writing Goosebumps books for adults. And, like, people, like like just entering the workforce and stuff like that like taking that nostalgia of the goosebumps books that's just like oh is my principal a werewolf <laughs> oh my babysitter summoned a mummy you know that kind of thing but like doing it for like uh you know people just getting out of college because that's where we were so it was like this apple piece is fucking haunted <laughs> And you just slowly realize that, have, you know, when the Applebee's is full of ghosts. Also, in true Goosebumps fashion, the twist has to be that, um, it, like, if, if you think that your principal is a vampire, actually, you were a vampire. <laughs> you know? And they just, like, leave out the part to, like, the last chapter when they're like, I grabbed my blood icy orange, or whatever, to the palace, hurry! And then R.L. Stein's like, what? You didn't expect you to be the vampire? I guess I got you pretty good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what R.L. Stein sounds like. I do know what he sounds like. He sounds like a quiet old man. <laughs> Come on, R.L. Stein. If I was the vampire, wouldn't I know that? I guess maybe he sounds like Jack Black, too. Because oh. he's Jack Black in the movies. huge missed opportunity here um because in in the film Mulan, they're able to climb this tower uh because they all they all dress up like ladies so we need a costume change <laughs> yes get us by what are you grabbing <laughs> Is she Spider-Man? Are they all Spider-Man? Yep. New Spider-Man trailer came out. That's what I'm talking about, Spider-Man. I know the year's almost 2022, but uh, your boy finally saw Endgame. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Finally! <laughs> Do you know how many times I've referenced it with you and I've been like, wait, no. Riku? Uh? No, never heard of him. Riku's a pirate? <laughs> he doesn't even tell far away, he's just a goofy. Oh my god, I so thought that was going to be Riku. Why does he have Riku's sword? Maybe it's two different people. Because uh, even though I think this game is great and perfect and there's nothing I'd change about it, um, all of the villains have the same outfit! <laughs> Nomura really said, hey, I'm going to design some characters, did like, head to the neck and was like, okay, we're done. <laughs> Character to design over. Everyone says I put too many belts and zippers on people. Guess what? Now everyone's wearing a hoodie. <laughs> With zippers on it. There's still a lot of zippers. Don't ever tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, uh, magnet's also really good when you've got a bunch of enemies around. I'm not telling you what to do. You know, you know it, it's been made clear that I'm not supposed to tell anybody what to do. Uh, but yeah, this Applebee's is fucking haunted was gonna be the first in our series of Goosebumps. Uh, millennial Goosebumps novels. Uh, there was also, like, uh, the HR rep is a werewolf. <laughs> um, oh, that's good. Uh, Carol from Accounting has the T-Virus. <laughs> 
No, that wasn't. The, uh, the HR rep as a werewolf was definitely one of them. Yes, it wasn't Riku. Sorry, Sora. I'm going to assume it's Goofy said that. Nope, nope. I can't stay worried. I can't stay. I'm, I, but I was going to say, I can't stay worried about Shang. I have to stop caring about him. <laughs> definitely a different reading. Oh, right. Y'all, it's real Goofy hours. Your Excellency, Shang, something terrible has happened. We saw a huge monster fly out of the mountains towards the city. Ah, so it is as the young man said. Isn't that right, Captain? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. You see, a young stranger visited us not long ago. The captain fought the visitor, but was quickly defeated. To my dishonor. It seems that young man was the one in black that I've heard whispers about. Ouch. He didn't offer his name. He was rather rude. Cool, but rude. Rude? Then it was Riku. <laughs> Riku's an asshole! Riku's in the organization? Gorge. But why would he come here? Quick reminder that Riku and Mickey were both given. I'll check outside. We're both given. Uh, we're both given the Mulan. Got a little cuts in the way out. Shang, guard the Emperor. I'll be fine with them. That's right. Indeed. It is. That is true. We need not worry while you protect. Hurry! Yeah, there's a cutscene, Donald. And also there's some treasure chests. You get that the, there are a lot of people in danger outside, but... Uh, so Mickey and Riku were given black cloaks that guard against the darkness. So that's also why Mickey is dressed like um, an organization member. Because mm -hmm. you'll remember he showed up in his edgy cloak. Um, those were both given uh, by that dude with like the red hood whose name I think we got? Diz? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. We did get Diz, Diz's name. Uh, also, who was, like, running that simulation uh, of Twilight Time. Right? That Rockless attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that's... If you're like, oh, wait, why is Riku dressed like Organization 13? Quick reminder, that's why... Man, this room had tons of goodies. Wait, it's the throne room. Uh, wait, can we just take this stuff really quick? Yeah, it's fine. Go get the monster. Okay, I'm just going to pack some things. <laughs> yeah, I need this. Might need these torn pages to fight the monster. Probably going to need this crystal. <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're going to need to fight a monster. That's what I always say. So this is definitely a uh, press triangle boss fight. Okay. It's also got a really cool design. And pressing triangle does some uh, neat stuff. But, time for me to critique this perfect game that's never done anything wrong. It has too much health. The fight goes on too long. Uh, it's not really hard, but uh, it takes a while. You ready to press triangle? You did it. So you gotta hit its horns. The one that I'm currently in. Uh, that does a, a side effect thing, but it's not the main horn. You have to hit, you have to hit the horns on its head. And if you press triangle again, you can soar. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, locking on will help you, like, find the ones you're supposed to hit. Not that one, not that one. That's the one you need to hit. Aha! But the other ones, I think if you hit the other spines, he, like, falls. So, like, the part is Maybe? Good triangle pressing. See how he has too much health, though? Like, you've already knocked down a bar, but, like, this is a long fight. Yeah. Especially because, like, it's kind of annoying to stand on his back and do all that stuff, but... I still think the design of it's cool. I think the concept of the boss fight's cool to, like, fly up and hit its head. I just wish it was, like, a little faster. Because it loses a bit of its luster. A bit. And I, and I can say that, because I grew up playing this game. Okay, this is the Sioux Falls of video games. <laughs> Yeah, take that, horn. I gotta say, it is it is nice having just a relaxing boss fight. Yeah. Which, I don't know, maybe that speaks to how it is a poor boss, like, battle design, is that it is relaxing, but... No, it's fun. Hey, games can be fun. <laughs> games, like, not every game has to make you just want to throw your controller through the wall. Yeah, I've Dark been, Souls. I've been playing Dark Souls. Yeah. And it's good. Okay, get ready to press triangle. It's it's rad. Look at that! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 Posing! Let's go! Oh, never mind. Perfect game. Perfect <laughs> boss fight. This is the best. This is why he's in Smash, folks. Did you see that? Did you see him suplex that flipping dragon? <laughs> I don't know what's up with these walls that form, but uh, I'm just gonna ignore them and pretend that it's... Would be bad if you got like a giant beam that filled this whole area. So they still give you enough room to move out of the way up it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even like one shot you or anything. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been playing Dark Souls that I'm like... Because Dark, Soul Dark Souls bosses have... For the most part, the right amount of health. There are exceptions, uh, like Medir in uh, the Dark Souls 3 DLC. Too much health. Incorrect. Uh, Ancient Dragon, and a lot of the dragons actually, which uh, this is also kind of a dragon. I mean, it's fully a dragon. I'm not, why am I, this is kind of a dragon. <laughs> it's scaly, it's got wings, it's got, it's got lightning powers. Like, it's a breath weapon, you know, you just need a breath weapon. Doesn't necessarily have to be fire. Oh, get ready to press triangle. Oh! Take that. Sauced and vertigo tossed. Alright, this fight didn't take too long. Maybe I think it, I think it's the last time I played it. Um, he just wasn't giving me that attack. He just kept flying around. Uh, and I was like, my guy, give me the good one. Give me the one that lets me knock you down. Just will your health down. Oh no, these walls are gonna make you get closer to him and hit his, hit his things. Oh, I guess the walls damage you too, so. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they don't really force me into the way all that much. Now, when we get to the fight in Beast's Castle, I want you to remember that the game thinks that these bosses are pretty comparable in difficulty. <laughs> okay. Maybe pop over here. Now, fine. Or get closer to your to your pals and pop a thing. Look, I just you you got him at like a sliver, so I don't want you I don't want you to die. <laughs> Just side B. Just side B out of your upbeat, Corey. Yeah. Why didn't I think to do that? There we go. Nice. And your Thunder. Now you have Thundara instead of Thunder. Nice. Nice.
Way to go. Once again, you have served China well. It would please me to reward you. What is it that you wish? My stomach growled at the well, exact same time Goofy's did. You say a guy in black came well, to see you. Me and Goofy are What did he say? <laughs> that is all you request? Yes. Dragons have crossed our land and left a great web of ants. These dragons wield much power, and they are the source of many gifts to both man and nature. But it would seem someone of evil intent disturbed one of our dragons and transformed it into what you call a heartless. It is my belief that this young man came to warn me of that danger. Then I could alert and prepare my troops. Did you? <laughs> I was about to, but he told me this situation had changed. He said three wise guys had arrived, and they would take care of things. <laughs> That's gotta be Riku! But what's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? No idea. But at least I finally know he's okay. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good. Now then, Famula, do you have a request? I'd like Shang. Uh, I mean, well, the captain. Yes, yes, my dear. What is it? Could the captain have a vacation, please? <laughs> I hardly expected such humble requests. In this case, I'm afraid I must refuse. Captain Lee's responsibility is to protect the Emperor. And yet, Mulan... Yes. Would you like to serve alongside him and protect me? Huh? What? Two reeds together are stronger than one. Okay, so you the offer a favor and then we're like, actually, I need your labor. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Yeah, the Emperor is just like straight union busting right now. <laughs> yeah. That's the land of dragons. You did it. Yeah. Wow, trophy earned. I'll say so. <clears throat> oh, you can't go to the next one just yet. Looks like you gotta do Beast Castle of Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you wanna get uh sauced and tossed? Or like lightly sauced? I'm thinking lightly sauced. Is that what pirate, pirate time? Sweet. Just get. I maybe I'm overselling this boss. I'm pretty sure Beast Castle boss is gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna sell us. That's coming from the port. What is? There's sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's check uh, it out. The folks at home can hear it. I think I only got like two things since, but... Yeah, but I think you'll get something for it. Power boost. Double recipes. Oh, not that no, you don't have enough for save the queen. Okay. Okay, okay, Port Royale. Let's see what you got. Jack! 
Uh, Zola, some assistance? That's Sora, Donald, and Goofy. In that order. Lever makes a parish. Aye, aye. Out. We can handle this. Just sit back and twink or whatever it is you do best. Drink. <laughs> yeah, he's an alcoholic. Oh wait, that's right. Magic is what hurts these guys, right? Yeah. Uh, thunder, especially. Oh. Gotta lock on to him first. Right. I, Blizzard's actually the best one, but like you don't have that in your deck right now. Maybe we'll switch it in. Just because Blizzard like fully freezes them in place. Nice dodge roll there. Thanks. Oh. Nice triangle pressing. Collect all this. Oh yeah, that's good. Wait, if I'm out of magic, can I just... Would it be better for me just to try and avoid everything? No, just hit him. Wait, what? Just hit him with your keyboard. I thought I had to use magic. No. They're weak to... They're especially weak to magic in the moonlight. But as long as they're in the moonlight, you can, like, hit them. Like, you can hit them whenever you want. As long as they're in the moonlight. But when they go out of the moonlight and they're in the darkness, you can't deal any damage to them. Oh. Okay. Some scallywag must have gotten greedy. I guess this one Jax is better himself, like, oh, I see. You don't trust me, do you? Likely wise, chose I am a pirate, my mates. A little bit of uh, Stewie Griffin and Austin Powers and a baby. <laughs> Elizabeth! What it is. So sticky business is a full time. Wait, Jack, I need your help. The cursed pirates have returned. Will has found out, had to find out why. So he went to the Isle of Demurta to check on the Aztec treasure. I fear something happened. You have to take me to him. Ah, oh, there it is. If you've been wanting him rescued, best do it alone, lass. Alone? Really, Jack? Sail to the island. Sorry, everyone's all just like look at Donald the Goofy in context with the rest of everything. Uh, yeah, sail to the island, take on the cursed pirates. <clears throat> well, if any last good. Are you sure he's in trouble? No, not certain, but he's been gone too long. I mean, he's like sailing. <laughs> I wanted to go with him. Like, maybe he hit boat traffic, but he insisted I stay here. I can't just sit and wait. I've got to know if he's all right. Lucky man. Please, Jack, take me to him. Hold a moment. I see no profit in it for me. I shall reward you, of course. You do owe Will. He saved your life before. Right. Shall we? Sora pops in. Uh, I see no profit in it for me. <laughs> yeah, I would also like to get paid. I'll accept uh, keychains. I'll accept spells. Drive forms. Summons. Why am I going back to Island of Murta? So go back to Island of Murta. That's how you do it. <gasps> oh, oh, it's an ambush. No. You have to defeat them all, all, or just go below deck. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Just, yeah. You can do that. Can I pop out? You made it! Oh, that is great. Go talk to Jack. Come here, Jack. Oh, wait, I think you do actually have to cut him. Oh, dang. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. We did it. 
<laughs> Way to go, gamers! So is that the uh, the speedrun strat? <laughs> That's the speedrun strat, yeah. Because uh, the speedrun doesn't like this world because the pirates are really annoying. <laughs> That they are. It's also why most people don't like this world, because the pirates are really annoying. Stop that, Jack. We've got to rescue him. Will, wake up. <gasps> Elizabeth. What happened? The medallions and the stone chest. Someone's taken them. Next thing I knew, we were attacked. Look at Goofy! <laughs> who it was. His face was shrouded in a black back. hood. The organization. We found a way out of the cave. But the villains sent a horde of terrible creatures after us. I've never seen their likes before. I think I'm the only one who made it back to the ship. Will. Elizabeth. I feel rather... Uh... Our turn, guys. You'd best go prepared. We've no idea what's out there. Pardon me, lads and lass, but your captain will have no monsters today. Thank you. We're turning for home. Just like that? Just like that. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Yeah. <clears throat> Boom. Alright. Daylight! <laughs> okay, do I just walk out? Then something will happen. What? You... We did it, gamers! <laughs> Don't remember inviting you. There wasn't anybody there yet. So it was the organization. Jack Sparrow is a precog. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and he's got the treasure. The then. darkness of men's hearts, drawn to these cursed medallions, and this heartless, a veritable maelstrom of avarice. I wonder, are they worthy to serve Organization Thirteen? And you want an answer now? Precisely. Uh, so this Heartless has the same uh, moonlight effect as the Pirates. Oh, thank so you. So don't that. push it into the darkness where it becomes immortal. Let's see. Reflect on circle. Okay, I just gotta do double make sure of that. Boom. Ha ha. Nice. Walk out this way, please. I mean, if you just hit it from the other side, you push it over this way. Oh, that's a good point. You gotta hit it from the back sometimes. <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. It doesn't have that effect yet. Just beat the crap out of it. I was wrong. Oh, okay. Just always, yeah, I guess it just always gets lightning. And by yet, I mean, uh, I don't know. This is the only time you fight it. <laughs> Safe it. Nailed it. Stuck the landing. Get it. Oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, my God. Get back over here. Who said you could run away? I'm not on this ship with you. <laughs> the ship with me! Yeah. It's a really tricky one. I don't know if you know so. They're really making you work for it. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It's getting close. You did it! Yay! Ooh, a horizontal slash is good. Though I don't know if it'll fit your play style. Is it because I'm an unskilled master? 
It's because you hit X. And this is, you have to press square sometimes. Hey! Throw him overboard. <laughs> aye, aye. Holly! Excuse me? Harley? It's a bit of the pirate's code. Anyone who invokes parley must not be harmed till negotiations are complete. This is no time for rules. The true. But as we're honorable pirates, we should always stick to the code. All right, you. Out with it. I surrender the chest with my humblest apologies. Rather accommodating of you, mate. And for that you want... Just a few souvenirs. For the memories. Huh? We can't stop the curse unless we got all the medallions. Our friend's about to learn what it means to cross a pirate. Oh. Sora, Donald, Goofy, he's yours. Sora's dead. Now we play as this guy. <laughs> it's very last of us too. <coughs> you stole what? a medallion <coughs> again? Were I only that fortunate? So, uh, how come you're all skeleton-y? Perhaps I got a touch of something from that monster what attacked us. Yet, why is the skin resting right on you three? Because we're not greedy. What do you get to that? That still doesn't solve the mystery. Gorge. Maybe the reason we're all okay is because we're not from this world. There must be different laws. Yeah. We're always just passing through. Wonder when we'll see home again. Sure. <laughs> just kidding you. Lucky we didn't get cursed, huh? Quit yammering, mates. We've got to find ourselves a ship that'll float. I don't know if hard for that puzzle piece. Yeah, and oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> and also, maybe you uh, maybe maybe you grab a chest. Oh, feather charm. With the help of two friends, you can use the summon command to call forth Peter Pan for a helping hand. Oh, um. Peter Pan is really fun when you use speedrun strats because you can like chain your attacks with his attacks and then just not let the enemies attack. It's very fun. Mm. There's some like abilities you gotta equip to do it, but highly recommend Peter Pan. And uh, Peter Pan also summons Tinkerbell too at the same time. Oh wow. So as he's out, you get like a little bit of constant healing. You've got like a revivify kind of thing. When you die, pretty neat. I'm gonna be totally honest. Don't bother with the pirates. Just open the chests, run through the area, and find the nobodies. All right. Because uh, the pirates are just—I don't know if you could tell—really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's obnoxious. It's not fun at all. No. God, I remember when you guys were saucing me back at uh, Olympus Coliseum. Not anymore. Yeah. Now we're letting you simmer in the pan until reduced. Do I have to kill the Heartless too? No. Oh, okay. There will be like a timer that shows up uh, when you find one of the nobodies. And then it's like, you'll beat this nobody before the timer runs out. To get his treasure. Oh. 
medallion. Yeah. Also, they can turn you into into dice. Weird. Yeah. Watch out for that. Oh, I thought that was a triangle. I, yeah, I thought you were. I thought you were like attack against them. I'm like, what? I've never seen those. Nailed it. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Medallion just falls down the cracks and broken ship into the water. You get it done. Else he won't be sailing free for very long, Sevy. What? What's that? Ahoy, mateys! Ridiculous imitation, and yet I'm flattered. Yay! It's the most cursed image. <laughs> Jack, what happened? This is horrible. Ah, oh, but who's to blame for it, honey? Well, it certainly isn't Elizabeth. It's Organization 13. They're the ones behind it all. Wonder where they went! The hooded man took the pirates and his creatures with them into some sort of strange hole. We saw them leave from inside the captain's stateroom. Didn't it occur to you to fight the mate? I'm no fool. I knew I was no match for them. And as I believe. Sora, I think we need your help. Got it. First, let's find all the medallions. Otherwise, the curse can't be broken. And the creatures will remain invincible. Damn. Shame. I guess we'll turn into our grand. <laughs> Uh, so the nobodies can be, like, anywhere. They just kind of randomly spawn. Um, they spawn most of the time, though. So, like, just kind of, like, bounce around to different places and you'll find them. The ship graveyard? Yeah. That's fine. Oh! Okay, so you gotta find it in 30 seconds and kill in 30 seconds. It's in this area. Nope. Don't hit that. Go, go run around and find the, uh, the nobody. Where is it? Nope, it's not over there. there it is. Ten seconds. Beat the, sh beat the shit out of it. Beat the absolute. Beat it to death. How dare you? Good, you nailed it. Nice. Okay, give me two more medallions to go. Oh boy. You can't jump enough. You haven't leveled up your drive forms enough. Corey, God, that's how you get mobility options. God damn it. Okay, well. Okay, this is how I get back to the ship. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I bet there's probably an Isle de Murda, maybe. I don't know. I wonder if I can just keep going back to Ship Graveyard. Let's see. Because if so, no. I think they've all got to be in different places. It's an ambush, you have to defeat them all. Just go inside the ship. <laughs> you did it, you went inside the ship. Puzzle solved. Oh, god damn it. Ooh. I think there's one in the large sea. <laughs> yeah, no. No, just go down the path a little bit. Oh, the timer wouldn't start out here. Okay. <gasps> Go get it! Eight seconds! Wow, they did not give me much time. No. You can go deeper in and you'll find another one. Could I have... Like, I didn't stop attacking it. You didn't attack it fast enough. Now it's hiding behind one of these sets of boxes, so you got to break the boxes and hope you get lucky. But you've got, like, a full minute, so it's fine. There it is! Hit it a lot. 
It's weak to hits. I'm I'm sorry. I'm still just thrown off by the one that was right before this. How could I have attacked faster? I mean, if you would have like ran in faster, you delayed. Go get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, it, oh. Okay, let me. Allow me. Is it really possible? Oh, wow. Let me show you, though. Let me show you the way. Oh, with the drive form. Give me strength. Back off. Let's go. Jeepers. There you go. There you go, sucker. How there you they, go, sucker! How did they expect a novice like me to figure that out? I've only played two and a half of these games. Amateur. Well, uh, you gotta know how to spam Sonic, Sonic Blade. Why stop? Organization 13 is after people's hearts. So they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk? No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then, we have to help. Then let go and hold a run free. Well, I think we'll save this final boss fight for next time. I'm Phil. I'm Cory. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.